morning, everyone. My name is Elena Chini Choi. And today we're going to talk um, about the data and stories behind the usage of the Mets collection uh, on Pinterest. We are not going to talk about um, our own official Pinterest account. We're going to talk about users' own activity, um, sharing and linking um, our collection on Pinterest. Um, in order to do the analysis, we used different tools. Um, we gathered data from Google Analytics. We also used uh, Pinterest Analytics. And also, we did uh, a very short survey just targeting Pinterest users that were um, coming to the collection. Here you have some overview of the, um, some of the metrics of uh, the Pinterest traffic to the Mets online collection. Of course, like Google brings the majority of the traffic, um, but then if we look at the referrals report, we see that Pinterest is every month at the top of the list. It brings 4% of the total traffic to the collection, and it's interesting, this, type, this traffic is a bit different to other segments. <coughs> 50% um, or 52% of um, those users come from mobile devices and they spend less time than the average um, on the website. Um, actually, 32% uh, of those users just visit one object on the collection and then they leave. And then we will come back to that data point uh, later on. Um, another interesting fact from Google Analytics that we can see is that uh, we have these sharing uh, buttons on the um, uh, collection object page and we see that the most used is Pinterest. So who are those users that come from Pinterest? We see that those users are looking for inspiration. We have two types of um, inspiration seekers. Those that um, come regularly to the Mets uh, website, looking for visuals, looking for inspiration for their own work. They have a particular purpose uh, for the visit. And then we have the casual browsers. And those are users that didn't plan to come to the uh, online collection. Uh, they stumble upon some content on Pinterest and uh, they arrived uh, to the website. Um, you have here some quotes from users um, and also something we were very interested to find out was um, the relationship with the Met. Uh, we asked them if they have ever visited uh, the Met in person and we found out that 54% of users have never been to the museum. So, what are users sharing uh, on Pinterest? Um, we look at data for 2017 and we found that 16,000 objects from the collection were shared on this platform. What is interesting is that there is a pretty equal distribution of the number of shares, so the majority of those objects were shared only once on Pinterest. However, when we grouped those different objects, we see clear patterns on um, the type of objects that were shared. Because fashion is a popular topic on Pinterest, we know that um, objects from the uh, Custom Institute get a lot of shares uh, on this platform. And I'm going to now hand over to Ginny, who's going to keep tell you about some stories uh, behind those numbers. When we look at the analytics for the online collection, it's always interesting to see which objects are getting the most views. Overall, our, our top viewed objects remain fairly consistent. But when we look at traffic within curatorial departments, we often find surprises. I'm going to go through three examples of objects getting traffic from Pinterest. For a time, this 19th century German crochet sampler was the most viewed object in our European Sculpture and Decorative Arts collection. This is a department with Degas, Rodin, and Bernini. But because of referral traffic from Pinterest, the sampler was getting more views. It was averaging 1,000 views per month, and it's on many boards related to crochet. Um, objects from our costume collection are among the most pinned, pinned items, mostly on boards related to fashion. But this 1934 dress by Travis Banton was getting traffic from this board um, about Throne of Glass, which is a fantasy novel series about a teenage assassin. And this is one of the only examples so far we've seen of a topic related to teen novels. This is another example from European Sculpture and Decorative Arts. It's an 18th century British key also one of the most viewed objects in that department. It's on many, many boards related to keys. We also saw traffic coming from this board about Bluebeard. If you aren't familiar with the Bluebeard story, a set of keys does figure prominently. I'm not going to give away the ending. Um, but the majority of the boards, by far, the key is on are on boards related to tattoos. 
So apparently tattoo keys are a popular um, tattoo design, and the great irony is we actually have real tattoo designs in our collection from the early 20th century. So looking at the traffic on Pinterest has been fascinating for us. We are discovering audiences we never knew we had, over 50% of whom have never visited the museum on site. I think it's a testament to the breadth of our collection that we have items of interest to groups as varied as crocheters, tattoo artists, and fans of Bluebeard. Um, but 72% of them just visit one object page, and our next aim is to extend the user journey and inspire visitors to explore more of our collection. We have lots of keys, lots of crochet. How can we better convey this to those interested in those, in those areas? So to be continued, thank you. Mm -hmm.